Hi, this is a video response. Uh, he or she asks uh, uh, the friction is not working between URDF and database model. So, um, based on what you explained here, um, you're trying to do a conveyor belt and for some reason the friction is not working. No? So, any ideas? So, what I, what I did was because I, I'm not sure if it was because um, you moved it and it didn't work just directly like that or you moved it with controllers and it didn't work I suppose that it was for because of controllers otherwise if you move it manually it won't work obviously because uh, it's like teleporting the model so I suppose that it was um, actuated with controllers so what I did was I I created this new simulation in Rust Development Studio and uh, I just added a floor and an object, the cricket ball and then I created this package where I added in the robot di directory I added some URDFs I added yours which and made some changes. As you see I have your original one here and some changes I made was for example I, I changed the, the frictions and I also changed the, the control system and I added a, a plugin so that it worked. So I added the plugin here this is the, the, the one I, I made so I added the plugin for the controllers and then I added this transmission effort joint interface and that's basically it. I changed this property just to make it a bit easier and change some parameters so that it was easier to spawn, nothing else. So what I I did afterwards is I created the the control launch, so conveyor start control and I upload this YAM which is uh, here and highlight the syntax so I, I just use um, the same as you use more or less and and then I started with the joints the, two, the joint state and the prismatic joint and then publish the TFs and that's basically it. So I want to show you more or less what happens and because there are some issues that maybe could be the problem. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to spawn the conveyor belt. There we go. Now I'm going to start the controllers or start the controllers there we go now I'll start the GUI so that I can then I press this button here and it will take me here uh, which is basically like plugging uh, to a, a screen, having your own screen but remotely so here I selected the, the controller topic and then I for example put uh, I don't know yeah, 5.0 then I activate it and it starts moving. There we go. It depends on because it weighs a hundred kilos then it has a lot of inertia. So it's slow and then goes faster and faster. Okay now let's so this is the test that it works like this and we're going to position it on the zero zero and then we go here and I spawn a, a test object it's because it spawns more or less around here so I'm going to spawn it now there we go so the conveyor belt is, is working like this. What I've seen 
is that depending on when you start the movement, it won't work. So, for example, let's let's put this here and this and whoops, sorry, here. And I'm going to move it again to the 5.0. So it, it, it seems it works, but as you can see, it's much more difficult, mainly because this weighs now some, some kilograms. It weighs one kilogram, so maybe the efforts are not enough. So we can try and for example let me go to send this to the desktop and I'm going to launch another another one, another terminal and ROS run RQT and reconfigure. Okay, and now, there we go, so now it's trying to move, let's get the conveyor, PID, and then let's give it a, a boost, because maybe it needs more, there we go, so it goes so fast that it doesn't update, that could be a problem that could be a, a big problem because that's the physics engine basically it could be a lot of things it could be that the dynamic uh, friction it's too low so it, it starts to to slide when you go too fast and it could be also the the the, the physics that you're not doing iterations enough iterations or you're not precise enough enough to do that so it could be both things at the same time so to change that you should ch change the world you have some iterations here and even you can put you can see here um, the world if you put world it, it will try to be more precise it's slower and it's more process intensive but it should work better and also, you can change both the frictions of the conveyor belt. So here, you should put a um, bigger m uh, mu1 or mu2, which is the dynamic. And, and also, you should change the friction test object, which I have here. And as you can see, you have very high friction, so it's, it's, it's strange. So it's highly probable that it's because the engine, so the, the physics engine, doesn't update as fast as, as it should. So it, it doesn't update the frictions and the forces, and that way, that's the reason why it happened what we saw. That's the m most probable explanation. So I hoped it... It was useful and I'll post the code in the answer as much as I can and thank you for for watching the video if you liked it give a thumbs up and I hope it was useful thank you